Hello. I wanted to take the time and make a video on this latest book. This is in honor to my sister for her birthday and uh, wanted to do a flip through. I, um, it's hard cover and did some material on the corners. I wanted to keep the old original cover and here is the side. Here's the back. The top. The bottom. Side. Um, with material on the edges. I put metal corners but they were just so sharp, so I went ahead and put material on that matches the rest of it. Um, I made this to be removed. Um, right here, it has different kinds of beads that belong to my mother. And uh, some material that matches this. And... Then it has a dragonfly pendant my mom used to have. Used to hang it on my bathroom wall now and thought this would be so cute to just uh, put on. So she would have these in memory of my mom. All the leaves on the side have been sewn on. And there's the pen so she can have it on or off. Now, my sister is one that loves to live in the moment, loves her family so much, and they do some traveling in an RV, um, and with uh, all her grandkids, they all go, her kids go, and they gather a lot of the times, and so they love nothing more than discovering the world together, and uh, so I'm don't normally use photographs in journals, but this was a journal that was specifically made for her um, for what I thought she would enjoy most. Now, she's requested a journal that is flat um, for use of just each of her children, and so this would not be that journal. Those are in the making, um, but this is actually one that I just wanted to put myself in and give her part of me um, something she could enjoy for many years to come and share with her kids and um, also her husband could also write in. So I've made these by turning the material that I used, the jean material that I used uh, and French braided it and she can untie them and make them longer, you know, whatever the case may be, and and made sure that they didn't go anywhere by tacking them on the front and on the back. So to start out, um, I put in the beginning uh, this atlas map, vintage atlas map, and wrote, memories made and traditions continue uh, with some vintage lace, and some flowers. Inside, I used photos that I wouldn't, again, I wouldn't normally use photos, personal photos in journals, but I think that she would get more enjoyment out of this. Uh, she is all about family, um, but it's photos of my mom and dad uh, when they are alive. Um, they loved to camp. They didn't get to do it often, but when they did, they enjoyed it. And uh, my mom liked to walk and pick flowers. There she is in blue bonnets. Puts a vintage lace on it. There's my father when they went camping. He always loved to grab a good Western, sit in his chair and read. And... Here they are eating s'mores by the campfire. And there's my father 
they're washed in their little camper. Um, well, I used to tease him about his legs. But, so that was uh, them when they're camping and eating s'mores and washing the camper. Put this little blue bird, or red bird, I'm sorry, red bird. Um, me and my sister always have this thing about my mom and red birds. Um, my mom loved red birds. Vintage looking paper, and I did some stamps. This is matcha baked tea dye paper, and when it baked, the matcha kind of just set. Looks like mold, but it's not. It's matcha tea. Greenish color. More matcha tea. And then I did a bird cage, a little vintage bird cage stamp with a red bird. And then I did some artwork down here stamping and did a red bird on the handlebars of the bike, butterfly. And I wouldn't normally read notes that I leave for my sister, um, but I'm loud and proud about what I think about her. And so here's just a short note to my sister with so much love. Happy birthday, 2022. Hoping this brings you so much joy and gives you another way to cherish your wonderful family memories for years to come. You are a woman that I am so honored to have as my sister, a woman that so many are honored to call you daughter, wife, mother, Nana, and friend. You truly are one of a kind. You love unconditionally, sacrifice sacrifices have been made limit been limitless battle against all enemies while holding God's hand you are a treasure and we have this going joke where we call it you know I call us the twisted sisters I have for years um anyway so that's my little note for her so she can read and know how much I adore her um and then more space for her to either journal on or put more pictures. And then the atlas. Here is the first signature. It has five signatures in it. And I have made signatures uh, for her and her husband. And then from the oldest child going down with their children. On each one, I put um, some charms that represents you know, things that they like and enjoy. And just pinned them on the side, put some leaves and some lace on the side. This one here is one that's specific to her from me. One little heart that says made with love and then a little charm that says a sister is someone to dream, cry, sing, and laugh with. And here is the inside. I put some pockets in here. I know on her personal one that she wants for her kids. Um, at the time of me view, videoing this, she has not seen this journal yet, but she did not want, she's seen my other journals and I, I like fat, chubby journals and stuff came in, coming out of it and all that. But she requested that she in her personal journals with her children, um, she did not want things coming out of the top um, and all of that. She's, I, I don't know. She just don't like all that stuff. And she wants the stuff in it to be real and to be hers. And so she's not really into the vintage type of feel. Um, but I did put her pockets in here and I didn't put anything in the pockets. <clears throat> the reason being is because she didn't want the stuff hanging out. But also the reason I went ahead with pockets is because I know when they travel, they get little tickets, little receipts, little things that the kids, grandkids bring her, you know, little flowers, stuff like that, that it would give her a space to put those things in to later look back on. But the theme throughout the book is more of like a foresty theme since they do a lot of camping. Um, did some sewing on the edges and on some of the pages. This one here has a song page, songbook page, of, out of a vintage songbook. And it has two deers and some stamping and sewing. She's able to write over here. 
and then here's the back of it and there she is with her man and their two puppies it says travel the world to find the beautiful of course she doesn't need to travel the world to find the beautiful she enjoys it but she thinks everything's beautiful did some stamping here and there's some majority of this is coffee dyed and matcha tea dyed so you'll notice that it, it kind of looks from spot to spot you'll see some matcha tea uh, markings um, don't but that was the first time trying that don't think I'll be using matcha tea again um, some are onion dyed that's a pretty little sticker that I've added on there and this would be a uh, uh, napkin I'm sorry a napkin that uh, was hot podged on the page it is her and my niece one of their favorites uh, verses be still and know Psalms 4610 there's their two puppies the sissy and bendy and uh, they're little stinkers but they are the babies that are left at home so, but they do go on the camping trips. And she, Bendy, actually is quite the traveler. She travels with her daddy. Uh, probably about five times out of a week. And then these are book pages that came out of different, uh, about flowers. This was the wild rose. Pink roses were my mom's favorite. Kind of tells the history how much they'll grow this kind of stuff and here is some crinkled paper with some stickers on it and my sister has a love for cameras always has i thought that would be a cute little stamp place for her to write and more stamping in her and her husband we call him uncle bud um, both adorable. I uh, love them to death. And this was one of the sayings that she puts on her Facebook. Um, a guide for speaking words that bring life. Don't lie instead to speak truth. Don't let anger influence what you say. Don't give the enemy a place in your heart. Speak words that are positive and honest. Don't grieve the Holy Spirit in what you say. Don't speak negative, evil, or bitter words. Let your speech be Christ-like, loving, kind, and forgiving. And then here is a book page with the stamp on it. And another stamp here. More matcha tea. Just don't like how that matcha tea turned out, but it is what it is. And I thought this was cute. It reminds me of him and her. Two peas in a pod, but beautiful birds. And I, that's part of a napkin that I hodgepodge on the page. More matcha tea stained paper. Another floral page. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Anyway, it's a pretty, pretty flower. And more of this. More hodgepodge um, napkin with a stamp. Coffee dye paper bloom and then some floral this little card flower of life on uh, tea dye writing paper another book page another soft page i'm usually all decorated up on all these pages but again she doesn't like a bunch of stuff that's not really hers she she likes it more personal that she will have plenty of time to do stamp there one-sided wintergreen flower this is part of a hodgepodge napkin love the colors the bee is over here with some sunflower and here in a little bit you'll see the other side of it uh, mountain sage they've like to go to the mountains, stay at a friend's cabin. Oh, pickup truck. And the stamp, and then another stamp over here. 
Uh, this says live in the moment. And it says life is so short. This is another saying that she loves on Facebook. We spend so much time sweating the small stuff, worrying, complaining, gossiping, comparing, wishing, wanting, and waiting for something bigger and better instead of focusing on simple blessings that surround us every day. Life is so fragile and all it takes is a single moment to change everything you take for granted. Focus on what's important and be grateful. You are blessed. Believe it. Live it. Live your life and leave no regrets. Heaven in the Souls, vintage out of a vintage songbook that I took part of and sewed here. And this is a photograph of her and her husband and their three children that I adore. Mm, adore these people. Matcha tea stain. I did a little book thing, kind of just trying to jazz that face up just a little. Did some stamp. Another floral book page. And a stamp of birds. Stamping. And then that is part of, part one of theirs. And more ribbon or lace. Stained paper. Book page. Floral paper. Coffee dye with a little stamp. <clears throat> this is them being silly, and they're playing one of their games, the Happy Camper Scavenger Hunt. They always play it when uh, they take the grandkids out to the lake, or um, we go on vacation at a cabin somewhere. My sister likes to go on the hide, seek, find stuff so you can win. Since I came, I saw. I forgot what I was doing, retraced my steps, and got distracted on my way back. I have no idea what's going on, and now I have to pee. And that's why I put that there. She, we, she kind of laughs at that. I mean, it's on her Facebook, so we actually printed it and put it with her face. She looks like she has a problem there. Anyway, here is Uncle Bud, her husband. And I put it on... A vintage um, paper, uh, music page, Give Us Lord Our Daily Bread. That's him with his Blackstone griddle where he is making everybody breakfast. Has little stamps, salt and pepper shaker, a little bit grill, a couple cans, and some stamps. He's always our cook. They switch off and on. Um, the guys do on who's preparing what foods. And another page, coffee dye, the world page. This is the page that was the hodgepodge napkin where there was a bee on the other side and part of a, the flower, sunflower. It says blessings are a God thing. And that is so true. So true. And here is a little picnic table with all these little good things. And here is basically a guy's page. I'm sorry, I've got the glue, uh, glue stick in areas that I'm still trying to get rid of. Did a little coffee pot, a little stamp lantern. And this is a vintage where they used to do the bait out of dough, a dough ball, little thing there, and this little stuff, guy stuff. And this is her husband and her two sons and her son-in-law. This here is another book page, coffee dye. This is stamp page. And this has just some vintage lace, uh, some trim, an old phone book, and kind of vintage paper stamp. And this is actually myself, my husband, her and her husband, and my brother and his wife when we all went to a cabin getaway for a weekend. Had a great time. It was beautiful. Um went last year. It was really nice to get away. 
Um, another stamp bloom and some butterflies. More of this paper. Flower paper. Matcha tea dye. Um, a little hoot owl that says be wise. Stamp. Sorry, I hope you can see this. This pink pussy toes stamp and another stamp and a card with flowers. Coffee dye. Sometimes when they go, they get rained on, but they have fun in it anyway. Uh, vintage songbook paper. Some there. And more lace. Now we're going to start with their older child. The oldest child. Um, I get a lot of people asking, what is it? Why do you make journals? Um, this kind of explains it in a nutshell, why I make journeys and what journals are for. How they're used. Each person kind of uses them at their own, whatever they decide they want and they like. But this book will be forever passed down generations to come um, with many great memories. Um, and so that's, it's it, when you personalize it and make it yours, um, it's memories. My mom used to journal, not in a book like this, just a regular book, plain journal and left us many journals to read and, and we love we love them. Here are more charms that I put down that pertains to you know things in this family. Uh, more pockets for them to put things in. You know, she could put things in that they give her their receipts or you know, the kids, the drawings, whatever the case may be. Share your blessings, vintage song page, sewn on, stamp, stamp. Jesus said, I am a resurrection and the life, John eleven twenty five, 25, with the vintage song page. And this is hodgepodge napkins. And stamping, a sticker stamp. And this is another napkin that was hodgepodge on part of the page. Love the bright colors. Twin flower. More stamping. And this is her two sons. And some stamping. And this is having a friend is discovering something wonderful and keeping a secret, just the two of you. Our family are really close. Another stamp. And another hodgepodge napkin. Love those colors. Some stamping. All of this again is tea dye. And here's her eldest son's daughter. She is a trip. Um, adore her. And then this is her other son's youngest. And this says it's really you. It's really being you and knowing your friend likes you the, uh, that way best of all. Uh, some vintage lace, a sticker, and some stamping. Uh, some more hodgepodge napkins with a vintage song page. My father knows my need. Holly grape flowers, matcha tea mess. Um, well, there'd definitely not be another book like this. Um, getting crazy with the glue. A um, couple coffee dyed papers for her to write on. And that is halfway point. You'll see where I bound it. I sewed in one of the signatures. Here's the other half with the ribbon sewn on the side. And then we'll coffee dye, Western Valerina, Valerie, anyway, 
um, matcha dye tea paper. And here are their two of their children. Um, I get that blue gun off. Anyways, it's cherished, love, patience is a virtue, virtue is grace. Both put together make a very pretty face. This is so their personalities and adorable. Adorable they are. Um, lots of tea with some stamp. And more. This is her son-in-law with uh, her eldest son's I don't like that blue. Uh, with their son's youngest daughter. And their buds. This is having a friend walking around the block and running into an adventure. Put them two together and it's a definite adventure. Stamp. Bl uh, bloom. Stamps. And this is their eldest granddaughter. And Madison. And it has a vintage paper sewn on the back from the songbook, The Boundless Grace. Um, with them and Sissy, a bow out of sorry silk, some vintage ribbon. It says, when you wish for something new, believe it's on its way to you. And when the time is right, you'll find you'll have just what you had in mind. And a stamp. And that's her, her in a kayak. She used to go kayaking with her grandpa so when they went fishing. And then it's my sister and kind of like a little vintage thing for her. I don't know how far back I lost you. My phone paused. But in any case, this is the next son in Gloryland. Look and live. It's um, also got some hodgepodge napkin on it. And uh, the last time they went camping, their little grand, the littlest grandsons were out playing. And they left. And my sister and her husband were still behind. And they left a little bitty truck on top of a little dirt pile and my sister found it before they left and um, brought it home to be returned to them and this is some coffee dye stamp paper and here they are roasting out marshmallows the littles we call them the littles and my sister She's all about that burnt marshmallow. It says, family, friends, and food. God has made everything beautiful in its time. Ecclesiastics 311. That's a hodgepodge napkin that I did. Some stamps, matcha tea paper. And this is her uh, middle son. Actually, he's the next son down. They only have two sons, but and his precious wife. And this kind of reminded me of them when I saw this little vintage page. Um, two holding hands going in for ice cream. So I sewed that on there. Another paper. I'll speed it up here. Stamp. Book page. Book page. Um, hodgepodge napkin. Old song book page. Happy song land. And this so reminds me of her daughter-in-law and her. That's them. And I could see them going down a hill singing and, you know, just having a good old time. And coffee dye, book page, bloom. Plenty of room for her to write. So here's her son, and this is his youngest. And when he gets tired, he gets tired, and he loves to sit in Dad's lap. They were sitting by the campfire, and he fell asleep. He was really tired. This little old picture here reminded me of, of them, too, in this photo. So I thought it was perfect. Um, did purple bow with sorry silk. Some stamping. And then here's my sister and her husband with the three littles. And... 
this reminded me of the three littles because they're always so adventurous when when we see them camping they're up inside of a tree um look like pirates looking out this very cute picture loved it and they love trees the flower book and this let's see here this is halfway mark uh, for theirs flower book more stained paper uh, a little picture of them I was going to be climbing something one's trying to help the other one down and this is my sister with the three littles it says little drops of water little grains of sand make the mighty ocean and the pleasant land little deeds of kindness little words of love help me make ha earth happy like the heaven above and at this picture it had the backing has a oh make me wise vintage songbook page sewn on and then this picture vintage picture um, out of a book reminded me of close to this where my sister if it took her all day to stand there if this was possible for them to dig all these little holes and see she would stand there the whole time while they done it and that just so reminds me of them more tea dye Stamping. This is her husband with the three littles. And the vintage song page, Divine Peace. Vintage lace stamp. And them getting a kite out of the tree. That reminds me of them. Book pages. Stain pages, matcha tea dye, stain pages, plenty of place for her to write, add photos or whatever the case may be. Um, floral page, matcha tea dye page stamped, the back page with some sewn ribbon, uh, lace on the side, pocket. Okay, now their daughter, the uh, youngest of the bunch. And, of course, has all of the charms that I feel represents them pretty well. This has old songbook pages and hodgepodge napkins. Uh, I love this page. And then uh, cutouts. And let's see here. Let's get this page turned. Or napkins stamping and this <clears throat> is their son excuse me and while my sister was gone one time my niece and her son her little boy stayed at their house and they come home and he had painted you know of course it's water you wipe it off with water but it says their driveway coming down this is the best Nana and Papa ever and he has such a look on his face and he truly truly believes it He's, they are all of their grandkids do. They adore them. And more hodgepodge over a vintage songbook page. Coffee dye book page. And this is my niece and her husband and their little one climbing in a tree. And stamp pages, hodgepodge napkin on this page. I love those colors. More of the napkin and stamping and matcha. Flower page. And here's a picture of little Josiah. Um, here this reminds me of him in the park when a duck's chasing him it's uh he's got thumbs up um he's the great one of a kind for sure um he prayeth best who loveth best all things 
both great and small, for the dear God who loveth us, he made and loveth all. This child right here can pray like no other child I've ever seen. I'm mean, When we have Thanksgiving this last year, or I think it was Christmas actually, um, his papa said, let's pray. And when he said, let's pray, that meant papa would start praying. But, oh, he let her rip, man. Everybody just sat there and let him pray. And he prayed and he prayed. And he didn't leave anybody out. He's just the most adorable, witty kid. Um, adore him. One of a kind there. And here he is. Him and his nana. Uh, my sister, they have the most fun together. Uh, and they were kind of given attitude. This is... Uh, more napkins that I put on here. Onion dyed, coffee dyed, paper book stamped, floral book, and first part sewn lace or trim. That's part one. Here's the other part. It's got a stamp, floral book. And this is my precious niece. And I decorated this little page up when they went vacationing with them uh, to a cabin one time. And there's a little hammock and a vintage picture that I found in a book, a hammock with girls in it. And it reminded me of these two. Um, give them a hammock and they'd probably lay in it all day, just a giggling and carrying on, probably snoring. Um, they're BFFs. And more coffee dye. Floral page. She has funny room to write, like I said. This is like as a father. This is the four of them. My sister, her husband, son-in-law and daughter, and the little one when they went on the family vacation. Vintage songbook page. A book page. More writing page. More writing. More writing. And some hodgepodge napkins. And some little rabbits and piglets. My sister wants a farm with some piglets on it. And it says love. And a pocket. And the back more lace and that is the journal now um i'm not for sure how many pages are in it um but i know this is much bigger than what she would want but this actually would go in their rv um so she could share it with her family as they make more memories and be about them so this is what journaling is all about um, you make memories, write it in a book, put stuff in it that you enjoy together and for many, many years to come and to pass it down from generation to generation. Um, you can actually share those memories and make more. So that's what it's all about. It's a timepiece, um, for family. And so, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed um, viewing all of this. I'm sorry it took so long. There's just a lot of that book. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. And I appreciate you watching. Uh, I'll see y'all later. Don't forget to check me out. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, give me any comments. Um, ask me anything you want. So, I uh, thank you. Bye-bye. Have a great day.